নমস্কার আনন্দবাজার পত্রিকার শতবর্ষের অনুষ্ঠানে আপনাদের সকলকে স্বাগত এবং ধন্যবাদ ধন্যবাদ এবং কৃতজ্ঞতা আমাদের সকল পাঠককে যাদের সকলে এই অনুষ্ঠানে না থাকলেও আমাদের সঙ্গেই রয়েছেন সব সময় ভালোবেসে এবং ভুল ধরিয়ে দিয়ে অনুষ্ঠানের সূচনায় আমরা প্রণাম জানাই আনন্দবাজার পত্রিকার প্রতিষ্ঠাতা সম্পাদক শ্রী প্রফুল্ল কুমার সরকার এবং প্রতিষ্ঠাতা শ্রী সুরেশ চন্দ্র মজুমদারকে প্রণাম জানাই শ্রী অশোক কুমার সরকারকে যিনি ভাবতে শিখিয়েছিলেন পাঠকরাই আমাদের প্রকৃত প্রভু প্রণাম আমাদের সকল পূর্বতন সম্পাদক এবং পূর্বতন সকল কার্যকর্তাকে বছরের পর বছর এই সংবাদপত্রকে যারা সমৃদ্ধ করেছেন সেই কিংবদন্তি সাংবাদিক এবং সাহিত্যিকদের কৃতজ্ঞ চিত্তে স্মরণ করার পাশাপাশি আমরা মনে করতে চাই আমাদের অনামা পূর্বসূরি সাংবাদিকদের শতবর্ষের ইতিহাস পড়তে গিয়ে যাদের প্রতিবেদন আমাদের বিস্মিত করছে প্রকাশভঙ্গি এবং সাহসী লেখনীতে শতবর্ষে এই প্রশ্ন ওঠা স্বাভাবিক আনন্দবাজার পত্রিকা কি কেবলই অতীতচারী ঐতিহ্য সর্বস্ব সবিনয় জানাই আন্তর্জালের যুগে মুঠোফোনে দ্রুত গতিতে তথ্য পাওয়ার যুগে তথ্য নিষ্ঠ থেকে সংবাদের গভীরে যাওয়া এবং নিছক তথ্য ছাড়িয়ে বিশ্লেষণ এবং গভীর প্রতিবেদন পাঠককে পড়ানোর প্রতিস্পর্ধায় আমরা বিশ্বাসী আমরা অন্তর্দৃষ্টি এবং তৃতীয় নয়নের সাধনায় ব্রতি এবং প্রশ্ন করা আমাদের ধর্ম মুঠোফোনে পড়ব টেলিভিশনের পর্দায় দেখব তবে পরদিন হ্যাঁ পরদিন সংবাদপত্রে সেই খবর এবং অবশ্যই তার বেশু কিছু পাঠককে পড়াব পড়াবই এই সাধনায় আমরা নিজেদের নিয়োজিত রেখেছি কোনো ব্যক্তিবিশেষ বা রাজনৈতিক দল নয় আমরা গণতন্ত্রের মৌলিক সূত্রে বিশ্বাসী আমরা সব ধরনের অর্থনৈতিক সামাজিক রাজনৈতিক স্বাধীনতার প্রতি দায়বদ্ধ আমরা সম্মান করি বহুত্বকে অবশ্যই এক্ষেত্রে আমরা অতীত চারি কারণ আমাদের পূর্বসূরিরা জন্মলগ্ন থেকে সেই সুর বেঁধে দিয়েছেন এবং তা চিরন্তন শ্রদ্ধেও শ্রী অশোক কুমার সরকার আনন্দবাজার পত্রিকার পঞ্চাশতম বর্ষপূর্তির অনুষ্ঠানে বলেছিলেন পাঠকেরা সন্তুষ্ট এই সত্যটি সম্পাদকীয় কর্তব্যের শ্রেষ্ঠ বিচার এবং পুরস্কার তিনি এও বলেছিলেন সাধ থাকিলেই সাধ্য থাকে না বাধা আসিয়া সাধ্যতা এবং সফলতাকে সীমিত করিয়া দেয় এই সাধারণ সত্যটি পত্রিকার জীবনেও একটি সত্য কিন্তু বিবেকের কাছে আমাদের কৈফিয়ত এখনো করুণ হইবার দুর্ভাগ্য লাভ করে নাই কারণ আমরা যাহা সত্য বলিয়া বুঝিয়াছি তাহাই আমাদের আত্মপ্রত্যয়ের দ্বীপ হইয়া জ্বলিয়াছে এবং সেই সত্যের প্রতিষ্ঠার জন্য আমরা আমাদের সকল প্রয়াস উৎসর্গ করিয়াছি অভিজ্ঞতার দ্বারা এই বিস্ময়কর সত্যটিও উপলব্ধি করিয়াছি যে এক্ষেত্রে সফলতা এবং তথাকথিত বিফলতা উভয়ই পত্রিকার শক্তি বাড়াইয়াছে সত্যের শব্দের এবং শ্রেষ্ঠত্বের সাধনায় আমরা যেন পথভ্রষ্ট না হই সকলকে ধন্যবাদ এবং নমস্কার
Ladies, gentlemen, and dear colleagues, our businesses are driven by people, and we are fortunate to have amongst us individuals who have nurtured this institution to its state of excellence. We take this opportunity to felicitate a few of them here today. This list is by no means exhaustive or any indication of the contribution of our many workers over the years. So we may be excused for any omission, which is unintentional. Let us begin. He has been working with us for the last 50 years or more. He now strides across Bengali literature as a leading prose writer, a name which needs no introduction, actually, Sri Shishendu Mukhopadhyay. Right. In ABP, he is always referred as the God above. He is always available to check facts and figures. He is indispensable to anyone writing a serious treatise. Known all over the country and beyond, we are proud of our chief archivist and librarian, Sri Shoktida Shroy. He joined ABP as a trainee journalist and went on to become the editor. An economist by education and an intellectual by inspiration, Sri Anirban Chattopadhyay. He also joined as a trainee journalist and went on to become the political editor of the paper. Though politics is his forte, he is also known for his writing in Bengali. Sri Devashish Bhattacharya.
though we have been printing for many years, we have come to realize that printing is an art rather late in the day. She brought in the concept of quality consciousness over and above her marketing skills. She has served as our chief executive and managing director and was responsible for setting up our state-of-the-art plant at Barasa, as well as renovation of the office building after the fire. Personally, I too joined as a management trainee under her, and it gives me immense pleasure to introduce Sri Shobha, Srimoti Shobha Subramaniam. It seems eerie and present that he did away with most of our offices and introduced the concept of work from home. So when the pandemic came, we were ready. A cost accountant by training, he oversaw several cost optimization initiatives. He came to this organization to sell computers and ended up joining us and rising to the top. He rose to become the managing director and CEO of the organization and served us over more than four decades. Sri Dipankar Dash Purokasta. From health foods to selling newspapers and magazines was just a step. Not only was he skilled in the art of selling, he also sold, or rather championed, everything arty. He later moved to our publishing business, where he is the managing director, Sri Shubir Kumar Mitra. He too came from a non-media background. From selling shoes, he seamlessly moved into selling space. Though he was responsible for our dailies, his true love has always been the telegraph. Bearing a pleasing personality, he has been a popular figure in the club circuit of Kolkata, and he was responsible for making the New Year events as Telegraph's very own, Sri Amitabha Dutta. From the fumed-filled printing presses to the air-conditioned offset plants, from hot metal to digital typesetting, he has seen it all. This alumnus from IIT Kharagpur has run our production activities with a philosophic joy and a Buddha-like bliss, Sri Apurbo Shingupta.
was a champion athlete, winning all the major sprints at the annual sports. Coming from Hooghly, this man acquired firefighting skills over and above his various security drills. He was one of the heroes in fighting the fire that broke out in our building and saved lives. We feel secure in the presence of Sri Bulu Banduri. Have you ever wondered how you receive your morning newspaper like clockwork? Day in and day out, come rain and heat wave, your morning delivery is assured by the unseen presence of this man's dedication over four decades. He has been distributing newspapers and magazines in the city of Kolkata all these years, Sri Anup Kumar Maiti. Um... 
ಶ್ರೋತ್ರಸ್ಯ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಮನಸೋ ಮನೋಯ ದ್ವಾಚೋಹವಾಚ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರಸ್ಯ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಮನಸೋ ಮನೋಯ ದ್ವಾಚೋಹವಾಚ Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sparing your time to attend ABP's centennial. We are deeply grateful for your presence. The occasion might lead some of us to Mohadeb's tea shop on Prafulla Sharkar Street, some to the press club in Delhi, and some to the halls of parliament. In each place, we might hear the question, who does abp serve i will attempt an answer abp serves ordinary indians not their rulers it does so through the heroism of its people especially in crisis this is a year of significant centenaries in media and publishing the readers digest and foreign affairs magazine turn 100 time magazine enters its 100th year it is 100 years since the bbc's first radio broadcast it is a century since eliot's wasteland and joyce's ulysses were published in 1922 german democracy was straining under hyperinflation as the American economy boomed. Mussolini seized power in Italy. As the British Empire passed its high noon, Ireland won self-rule in January. In March, Gandhi was arrested during his non-cooperation movement in India. As Calcutta celebrated the Festival of Colors, a Bengali evening paper was first published and, in red ink, lent support to Gandhi's cause. The British saw not the red of Doljatra, 
but a warning of danger. Twenty-five years later, Anundo Bajar Potrika's Silver Jubilee coincided with the year of India's independence. An editorial celebrated the success of the freedom movement and the paper's emergence as one of its leading voices. By 1972, the challenge before the Indian press was soon to be the defense of its freedom. The paper was among the country's largest by circulation. During his Golden Jubilee address, Ashok Kumar Sharkar, then chief editor, said the paper had grown because it had served its readers, not the powerful. Later, when the institution celebrated its 75th anniversary, the Cold War had ended and India was reforming its economy. The group was now publishing The Telegraph and was to foray into television. The then chief editor, Obhik Sharkar, said that Anandobaja's ethos was its willingness to question any establishment that subverted values for the sake of expediency. The principles of personal freedom and the free market were central to editorial policy. Over the past 25 years, the group has ventured into new lands, languages, and forms. Today, ABP reaches nearly 300 million Indians each month, from Jammu to Kanyakumari, across television, digital, print, and radio. The group's enterprise has been matched by its heroism. I will cite six examples over the past 25 years. In September 1999, a fire engulfed the ABP office in Calcutta. Bulu Baduri charged into the building to rescue an employee from the flames. Even fire could not burn us. The next day, the entire staff of Anandobajar Potrika and the Telegraph brought out the papers. Anandobaja's front page editorial said, Pudiao Chahapurena. In September 2006, a bomb kept in a tiffin box exploded in Jhargram when the police tried to deactivate it. Shomeshwar Mondol was critically wounded when he tried to take a photograph. Two years later, with one eye and a resilient spirit, he was back on his bike taking pictures. In July 2014, Jagvinder Singh Patial flew to water on Iraq to break the news of the killing of 39 Indian hostages by ISIS. In May 2020, the cyclone Amphan hit West Bengal. As winds reached 150 kilometers per hour and trees and electric poles fell all around, Rumapal held her ground for two hours reporting on the ravages of the storm. Facing the same cyclone and failed internet lines, Rahul Machi connected a laptop to the CCTV server to send the PDF version of the next day's papers to the printing press. We are lucky to have many other heroes among us. We pay homage to them all. Our heroes face a very different world today. America is no longer the world's policeman. China has risen and Russia is belligerent. Global trade and economic growth have declined and prices are rising rapidly. The ideals of liberal democracy are in retreat. As the world moves towards a multipolar order, Delhi dreams of a place among the great powers. But this dream is clouded by threats within. The task of economic reform remains incomplete, and the pandemic has claimed lives and livelihoods. The Center for Monitoring the Indian Economy found that, in May, only two-fifths of Indians aged 15 years or older were employed or seeking jobs. 
This year, our economy will grow fast enough to create 6 million new jobs where it needs 10.5 million. Our demographic dividend is becoming more difficult to reap. Social divisions are growing. The politics of polarization played out through social media and news channels has deepened the fissure of religion on the street and in the drawing room. The environment for news media has also suffered a sea change. The spread of the internet has changed publishing in a way not seen since the invention of the printing press. The man in rural Uttar Pradesh has the world in his smartphone. However, independent journalism often draws ire on social media. It also meets the anger of governments at state and center. The authorities now more sophisticated with their use of law, technology and commerce and more ruthless in their punishment of criticism. As the world changes, we will stay true to ourselves. We will continue to provide sound, independent journalism in the public interest. That means doing our work ethically and with rigor. It also entails holding the powerful to account, even in adversity. We advocate realism in foreign policy, or the singular pursuit of the national interest in an anarchic world. This is the path that Delhi has followed in its response to the war in Ukraine. It is also in the world's interest that India retain its relationships on either side of the conflict. We believe that the task of reform must be renewed and long-term growth must be the government's main concern. The McKinsey Global Institute has estimated that the Indian economy needs to grow at 8 to 8.5 percent till 2030 in order to employ its young job seekers. However, reforms alone cannot address the material strain on our citizens. The RBI and the government need to rein in inflation, and the poor need a proper safety net. Personal freedom remains as relevant as ever, but we aspire to a larger ideal, which the Constitution calls the dignity of the individual. We believe that social harmony is necessary for national unity. Polarization fetches eyeballs and perhaps helps win some elections, but it does not make the country stronger. In 1933, as dictators rose and India ached for independence, Robindranath gave the following advice to Anandabajar Potrika. Tomar lekhoni jano nae dondo dhare. Shotru mitro nirbi bhede shokoler pore. Shojati shinghashon ucho kori goro. Shei shonge monereko shotto aro boro. Shodeshere chao jodi taro urte otho. Corona desher kache manushe choto. A very rough translation in English follows. May your words be just to all, whether friend or foe. Raise high the throne that is the nation, but remember, truth is higher still. If you desire your nation rise still higher, belittle not humanity before country. in the halls of parliament, at the press club, and at Mohadev's tea shop. The answer is this. We at ABP serve people, not power. And we find the heroes within ourselves time and again. Thank you for listening.
We are honored to have with us on video Professor Omoto Shen. Professor Sen won the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences in 1998. Among other things, his work has encompassed the conflict between the freedom to choose and economists' idea of the social good. We thank Professor Sen for making the long journey to grace our centenary. Despite ill health, he has kindly addressed kindly agreed to address us by video. Thank you, Professor. Over to you. Namaskar. After the youth of a session, that journey I'm quite a go. And the other particular Avival Nye, Kolkata Englishman Kagoje, Chinta Borosus no to La Hoichido. When you saw by say, Chudui March, Englishman Janan, the Kolkata Ecti Notun Dominic. পত্রিকা শুরু হয়েছে তার সমস্তটাই লাল কাগজে ছাপা আনন্দবাজারের জন্মদিন আনন্দের দিনই ছিল মাস মাসে দোল পূর্ণিমার দিনে সম্পাদক প্রফুল্ল কুমার সরকারের পরিচালনায় রক্তবরণের কাগজে গুরুত্বপূর্ণ বিষয় আলোচনা হয় বিষয়বস্তুর মধ্যে ঝগড়াটি ছিল না সুন্দর ঘোষণা করা হয়েছিল যে আনন্দবাজার পত্রিকা বাঙালির মিলন কেন্দ্র হবে যদিও ইংলিশম্যান এই রং চপে এই রং চঙে 
पत्रिका के हमी खोद खोदी कलर लाइक ए डेन्जर सिग्नल कलर लाइक ए डेन्जर सिग्नल बोले मन को तार मध्य देश समाज का नहीं भावना प्रयोजनता शिक्षा का कोई से चिंता प्रयोजनता सत्य कम छा आज के एक बच्चों पूर्ण हवा दिन भावते हैं नतून को चिंता भावना प्रयोजन और गुरुत्वपूर्ण कि ना उन्नीस सौ बस समय समय संगे आज के दिन पार्थक्य खूब ही बड़ रकम देश स्वाधीन होनेक दिन हल स्वाधीनतार समय जा आशा छो ता अनेकटा पूर्ण होमनता बढ़ा जाए कंतु घर माप कम नये उन्नीस सौ बस समय अनेक भारतीय के जेले जो हमार निजे आत्मये मध्य राजनैतिक कारण जेल खाते हो ते मध्य किसु लोक आनंद बजाय एवं हिंदुस्तान स्टैंडार्डे क्ज करत जीवन प्रथम स्थिति मध्य खूब अल्प बस तेज़ जेले देखते जावर अभिज्ञता बस बड़ रकम छो प्रधानत चल्लिस दशक हमें तक तेज़ प्रश्न करतम जे आईनगत अपराध छाड़ाई लोक के जेले कि समय बंद होना तुरंत देश स्वाधीन हार आगे बोध है बिना अपराधे कारावास बंद जा तर देश स्वाधीन हल कारागारे रूप बदलाल कंतु बिना अपराधे राजनैतिक कारण कारावास एखो बड़कम भाव चलते हमारे देश सहसिक राजनैतिक चिंता भावना जा एगवा जावा चेष्टा कर खेते हो सरकार हाथ आरोपित अपराधे विचार छाई तर प्रशंसा भारतवर्ष बहरे अनेक समय आंतु हम सुनी जेमन सुनी जो गल अध्यापक संस्कृत मुख्य के बिना विचारे हाजर हाजरदी उमे खालिद के सम्मान दीते चमस्की चेन कंतु ये से तेज़ सम्मान प्राय समय विवाह आनंद बजार पत्रिका जे सहसिकता के स्थान दिए तरह कागजी एवं आलोचन तर मध्य एक बड़ रकम मूल्यबोध हम देखते पाई हमारे दुखी देश समस्या अभाव नहीं दारिद्र चिकित्सा हीनता साधारण मानुषे सम्मान अभाव मेरे प्रति दुर्व्यवहार प्राय चोखे पड़े से समस्त विषय आनंद बजार जा बक्तव्य रखें से नहीं हम चिंता कर एवं मत के कारण आदेश नतून जो समस्या हमारे जतियों ओक्य पिछले दीचे तर मध्य सुचिंतार अभाव सुचिंतार अभाव अनेक समय देखते पाई भारतीय मानुष के नाना भागे भाग कर प्रचेषा एवं हिंदू मुसलमान सहकर्मे जगह विभेद तैयारी कर प्रचेषा हमारे खूब ही देखते हे आजकल राजनैतिक सुविधा व्यवहार जमे जे भारतवर्ष रवींद्रनाथ महात्मा गांधी नेतजी सुभाष चंद्र 
budú deti len. Tam sú jej, ak pese, som podaj gradu tykala po cestách, kde sa je manuské. Na nafave dúval koci. Ej, by fakty kolonér, by ju dej, a on dva do dej, dáva po cesta koci. Ej, ma de, ete, a on de, a on de, a on de, Nesilhati. Dia do sol, lá no cabo de, do passa da mãe, do lepo de mata mãe, pro trás do retiro. Se a do sol mudou, acho que eu como não é. A não do vado é, a que eu vado é, por ti. O vado que é, é o vado que está aqui, a mãe de sol no cabo, a vó que está aqui. Englishman for the guy. Jackie, danger signal. Money calls you in. Tanya, nice for Tesla. You're nice for Char. I can't know. Joey. If you say something, honey, then I'm not going to do that. 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 Vyšet bavé, vyšet bavé svoj ďon, kúby bol. Súdu sárolo nie divon činta, sáfolo, lávko te fárená, hamra fárovná. Sokty mán, on sú činti to činta dáre úpoje. Amade dôl kamano, čoľ vená. Anon dva dá 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 Proti se kočen, ta do ne a ode, ki to vrata karun, so ti jače. Dobro vado.
जागो प्राते आनंद करो कर्म आनंद जागो प्राते आनंद करो कर्म आनंद संधाय गृह चलो हे संधाय गृह चलो हे आनंद गान सदा थको आनंद सदा थको आनंद सदा थको आनंद संसार निर्भय निर्मल प्राण सदा थको आनंद संकटे संपदे थको कल्याण संकटे संपदे थको कल्याण थको आनंद निंदा अपमान संकटे संपदे थको कल्याण थको आनंद निंदा अपमान सबारे क्षमा को थको आनंद सबारे क्षमा Ladies, gentlemen, and dear colleagues, uh, our program is not over as yet. Uh, we request you to be seated for a few more minutes. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Professor Amartya Sen, uh, who traveled halfway around the world to attend today's program. Thank you, sir. We'd like to thank Aman Ali Khan for giving the music to the audiovisual shown right at the beginning of this program. We'd like to thank Sri Mohan Singh for singing songs by Devendranath Thakur and Ravindranath Thakur. He was accompanied by Sri Biplab Mondol. We thank him too. We'd like to thank uh, Srimati Shamadipta Mukherjee uh, for singing 3.1.4 of the Oitorio Upanishads. Uh, she also sang Mozart's Symphony No. 40 in Indian notation. We'd like to thank Sri Ayon Ghosh for the watercolor by Gogonendranath Thakur, which was displayed as a backdrop. We'd like to thank the management and staff of the Bisho Bangla Convention Center for their support and cooperation. We'd also like to thank the police and the administration for their help and support. A special vote of thanks to Sri Farad Hakim, the mayor of Kolkata, for his continuous support. You will now hear a rendering of the Vande Mataram composed by the famous musician Timir Boron at the initiative 
of late Ashok Kumar Sarkar and recorded in 1939. Following this music will be a short film. I'd like to thank you for your patience and gracious presence. होगा। ये छोटा वाला ग्लोब लगता है और पता नहीं तेरी बेटी से जाके मिल लो शायद उसे मालूम सिटी नहीं क्यूरियोसिटी वो क्या वॉट ब्रॉट यू क्यों जो तुम्हें यहां तक ले आया क्यूरियोसिटी 